everyone. Uh, wanted to hop on here and uh, share some news that in my simulated game a couple days ago, I felt something in my elbow. Um, and after looking at the MRI and conversing with some of the best doctors in the world, we've determined that Tommy John surgery is my best option. Obviously, this is not good news. Um, you know, however, I'm going to handle this the only way that I know how. Uh, I'm going to be optimistic. Uh, I'm going to put my head down, work hard, attack this rehab, and hopefully come out the other side better for it. Um, I truly believe everything happens for a reason. And although 2020 has uh, has sucked, um, you know, hopefully uh, when this rehab process is all said and done, this will allow me to charge through the end of my career and be healthy as long as I want and pitch as long as I want and accomplish some of the goals that I want in my career. What is up, Astro fans? And it is a rough one today. Uh, we got some terrible news today as Justin Verlander posted on his Instagram that he will need Tommy John surgery. He, he felt good before the simulated game, but he heard something pop in the simulated game and got an MRI afterwards. And it shows that he needs Tommy John surgery. So unfortunately, that means that he will be out this season and probably all of next season and his contract is up after next season so his time as an astro possibly and probably will be over it was a great wonderful day when we got when he when we got him and unfortunately it just is not going to work out for this year or next year but maybe who knows maybe click surprises us all and signs him back but i doubt it and yeah that's it so jv will require tommy john surgery sad day for all of houston sports and all i gotta say is 2020 sucks man 2020 sucks and yeah so thank you jv and get well soon that's all i got for you today guys go stros last night i was given 45 minutes to make the hardest decision of my life as I'm sure most of you have heard by now, uh, I accepted a trade to the Houston Astros. Um, firstly, I want to thank everyone here in Detroit, from the front office to all of my teammates, and especially the fans. The way you guys have treated me over the last 12 years has been uh, so special to me. Um, going all the way back to 2006, uh, when this city was in turmoil, um, I remember the way everybody rallied around our team going to the World Series that year and what it meant to this city. And um, what a special, special time in my life. And um, you know, I find myself now, I'm excited to go to Houston. Um, it's another city in turmoil right now, as everybody knows. Um, <clears throat> I'm excited to give the city something to rally around and something to cheer for and root for. Um, and hopefully we can bring a championship to Houston. So I'm excited about this next chapter in my life. at this point in your career with this uniform on? 
I mean, I'd be lying if I didn't, if I said I didn't know that the uh, the list of guys that thrown three instead of two gets pretty small. Um, some of the guys I idolize, um, and uh, you know, it's a special moment. I, I, I'm so happy to be able to celebrate this with my teammates. Don Kelly was here for the one last time in Toronto. He came up to me and said, I've seen this before. And, you know, it's just uh, such an incredible moment and something that you get to celebrate with your teammates, which other than a World Series and, and, and winning championships, uh, these team victories like, like this are uh, few and far between. So uh, I'm going to enjoy this one. You would What you did in game two. I think people will always remember this. What did you say to the team on that big comeback in game two here at Dodger Stadium? You know, I I've been in the clubhouse for a little bit and 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 as this roller coaster was going, we got so up. I mean I almost passed out a couple times cheering so hard. I'm not exaggerating. I, I literally took a knee because I almost passed out. And and next thing you know, they came storming back and tied the game. And and you just feel the air come out of the team and my only message was, let's go. I mean, okay. we're, we're here in the World Series. We have the best team. We have a great offense. Don't let this end this game. Like, come back, battle, have good at-bats, and that was it. Um, yeah, so that being said, I want to thank my teammates, my coaches, the Astros, um, for their support. Um, uh, I tried as hard as I could to, to come back and, and, and play this season. Unfortunately, my body just didn't uh, cooperate. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Um, you know, I think a blessing in disguise, a silver lining, is I get to spend some time with my young daughter and my family um, and hit the reset button and come back stronger than ever when this, uh, when this process is over. So thank you, everybody, for your well wishes. Um, and uh, see you on the other side. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below. Subscribe, yes, you will gotta subscribe as well as hit the bell for uh, notifications on when I post. Also, go check out the videos to the right, you will enjoy those.